For the second time now, the campaign to recall Los Angeles District Attorney George Gascone has come up short. Simply not enough eligible signatures on the petitions. But opponents are not giving up, not yet. NBC4's Beverly White has reaction from the DA tonight. After taking office in December 2020 and now surviving a second recall attempt, LADA George Gascone says he'll focus on his four-year term. I'm very pleased. You know, I think it continues to show uh, that there is a tremendous amount of support for the work that I'm doing. Backers of the recall are disappointed it fell short by 48,000 signatures, but say it still sends a powerful message. 98% of the deputy district attorneys, the line prosecutors, in Los Angeles County voted to endorse this recall. Half a million Angelinos signed the petition. Of 716,000 signatures submitted, LA's registrar found nearly 196,000 were invalid. Former DA Steve Cooley supports recalling Gascon and isn't giving up. The law requires that we must exhaust our administrative remedies first. We have 21 days in which to review all of the invalidated signatures uh, and the reasons therefore. After that 21-day period, we will make a decision about uh, pursuing further litigation. After learning that backers of the Gascon recall might go to court if they dispute how the signatures were processed, we contacted the registrar's office for a response. A spokesperson there says that prospect is news to them and had no further comment. Gascon's opponents say his policies favor criminals and create victims. They point to this felon on early release who killed two El Monte police officers last June before police killed him. Gascon is probably the most dangerous man in Los Angeles County presently because of his policies. Individuals who are very dangerous are out instead of being in. DA Gascon rejects what he calls misinformation and misleading signature drives and says he's ready for November 2024. And I'm, you know, I'm prepared to, to fight on my record when that time comes, assuming that there's not a third attempt for a recall, which I would not put it beyond that. Beverly White, NBC4 News.